I had just done whatever heroes I had done, maybe the X-Men and Fantastic Four, I forget which, and my publisher, who was a strange guy, but I won't discuss that now, but he said to me, hey Stan, I think we're on a roll. We have a couple of good selling heroes. Come up with another one for me. So I wanted to keep my job, so I went home and started thinking, and I saw a fly crawling on the wall, and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be cool to have a hero who could stick to the wall like it. No, I'm not telling the truth. In those days, they probably didn't have the word cool. I probably said, wouldn't it be groovy? But anyway, <laughs> it was the same thought. To have a character crawl on the wall. So I thought, sort of like an insect. And then I thought, okay, now I need a name. To me, names are very important. Like the Hulk. I mean, you had to love a guy called the Hulk. Anyway, I thought, what do I call the guy? Insect man? Nah, it didn't sound dramatic. Mosquito man? Nah. And I went down the list and I got to Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I said, wow, I've got my name. Then I decided to make him different. I'd make him a teenager. And finally, I thought to make the, the readers empathize with him, I give him a lot of personal problems. He'd be poor, he'd live with an aunt who's always sick and stuff like that. So I went to my publisher the next day and I was so excited. I told him my idea. And he said, Stan, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. He said, first of all, people hate spiders, so you can't call a hero Spider-Man. You want him to be a, a, a teenage hero? Don't you understand teenagers can only be sidekicks? And then he said, and you want him to have personal problems? Don't you know anything about superheroes? They don't have personal problems. They're superheroes. So I walked out of the office with my tail between my legs. But I couldn't get the idea out of my mind. So we were going to kill a magazine. I think it was called Amazing Fantasy. Now when you kill a magazine, nobody cares what you put in the last issue. Because you're killing it. So I thought I'd get Spider-Man out of my system. I'd put him in that magazine. And Steve did go through him. I, I gave it to Jack Kirby first, but he made him look too heroic. I said, I wanted to be just an ordinary, klutzy kind of teenager. Gave it to Steve Ditko, who drew klutzy characters. <laughs> and we featured him on the cover, and I forgot about it. About a month later, after the sales figures came in, my publisher came running into my office, and he said, hey, Stan, do you remember that Spider-Man character of yours that we both liked so much? <laughs> I swear. He said, let's make a series of it. And that's how Spider-Man was born.